Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to be doing a very different video for my channel. For those of you who do or do not know, I am currently enrolled in dog grooming school and with the virus and everything my campus was unfortunately shut down so I have to do a lot of my assignments at home and that's what we're going to be doing today. So in today's video it's going to be a dog grooming video. A few little disclaimers is I'm not a professional groomer. I am still in school. I'm almost finished with level one. I just have a few little assignments to do and then I will be moving on to level two. Um, another thing is this video is not a how-to video. I'm not teaching you guys how to do anything. I'm basically just going to be documenting my assignment and in today's video we are going to be grooming my little Pomeranian mix, which is Avril right here. She is a Chihuahua Pomeranian mix and as you can see she is very heavy coated and she is in great need of a bath and we're also going to be creating a natural foot on her because her pads are a little bit long and messy so we're going to get those all nice and cleaned up and then I just have to take a few little after pictures and once I submit everything for my assignments I will show you guys my final grade so basically what we're going to do first is we are going to get her into my little grooming area we're going to get her up on the table and we're going to do a little pre-work we're going to trim her nails clean her ears brush her teeth and then we'll take her upstairs get her nice and bathed and conditioned and then we'll take her back downstairs dry her off give her a nice brush um, do her feet and I also need to do a little bit of sanitization trimming around her rear end so yeah that's what we're going to be doing today it's it's a very different video that I've ever done on my channel but I think it'll be really fun I love dogs a lot of my viewers like dogs and I don't know you guys wanted to see this when I asked you on Instagram so that's what we're going to do my whole plan for this video is I'm not going to talk throughout the whole thing because I want to be able to focus and concentrate as much as possible on what I'm doing. So I'm going to have music over this video, but I'm going to be inserting text over the video explaining what I'm doing, what products I'm using, what size blade I'm using, uh, shears, all that good stuff. So make sure that if you want to know what I'm using, make sure you just read the text that I'm going to be putting on the screen. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get little Avril all set. She, she needs some work. She needs a very... She needs a very deep bath because she is starting to shed like crazy. She's dirty. Are you ready, sweetie? Good girl. Yes, we're going to get you all cleaned up. You're going to look so beautiful. Yeah. So here is my second bathroom. I know it's very, very cramped in here, but here is what everything looks like all set up. Um, we're also going to trim her nails, clean her ears, brush her teeth. I have some cotton balls um, to use in her after, um, after the bath. And then we have my little dryer right here. And then this is just where I keep all of my extra stuff. So this is my, my little setup. If you're wondering why my grooming table is so unbelievably large, um, I got the large one on purpose. And the reason for that is because not every dog that I'm going to be grooming at home is going to be a small dog. Some of my friends have bigger dogs. So I wanted to get the large table so it could accommodate for all types of size dogs. It is quite cramped in here, but you know, when school is shut down, you kind of just have to kind of just have to roll with it. And everything, um, a great majority of my tools that you see here and all my clippers and attachments and stuff, that came with the toolkit that I bought from school. And then the table, the dryer, that stuff is from Amazon.
It's almost noon, almost been doing this for two hours, but she's bathed, she's dried, she's brushed. The only thing I have left to do is do the pads of her feet and give her kind of like a natural foot. I did have to switch cameras because my other one completely died, so I'm just giving her a little bit of a break. Um, obviously in a salon there's, you know, no such thing as breaks, but whoo, I'm like there's hair everywhere and it's, it's a mess in here, but I love it. Uh, she did really good. She did better than I thought she would, but she does this thing, and I hate when she does this, but she does this thing, and she's done this ever since she was a puppy. Like, when she was a puppy and I would hold her and she didn't want to be held anymore, she would yelp like she's being hurt just so we would put her down, and she still does that to this day, so every time, like, you know, I would go to move her or go to brush her. She would yelp a little bit. And obviously, like, you know, I wasn't hurting her. But she does that, and it just makes me so anxious. I hate that she does that. So my question for you guys is, have you ever had a dog do that? If you're a dog groomer, have you ever had a dog, you know, yelp just to get attention? I don't even know what it is. But so for her feet, I am going to use, well, her pads, I should say. I'm going to use my clippers. I just have my little wall clippers and then I'm going to change the attachment that's already on here and I'm going to put on a size 40 to do her pads. Okay, so I have the 40 on there. I'm just gonna plug this guy in. And this is a two speed, but I'm just going to keep it on the one speed to do her pads. And then once her pads are all nice and shaved up, I'm going to take a slicker brush and kind of back comb a little bit and just use my small shears and my thinning shears to give her that kind of natural foot. So those are all of the supplies that I'm going to use for that. It's a lot of work. Like, what is it? Almost two hours in. Wow. It's, it's a lot of work, but I, I love it. It's fun. She looks great. So, you know, we're off to a really good start. So I'm going to go get her again and we're gonna do her pads. So wish me luck. Also have my little cooling spray. So as after I do each pad, I'm gonna check the temperature of my blade to make sure it's not too hot for her. And if it is, I'll just quickly spray it down with this just to kind of cool it off. That's the other thing I forgot to mention.
she's all done. Oh, look how pretty. Look at those natural feet. Look so pretty. Yeah. Hi, Jackalberry. You look handsome. Good girl. Can I see your rump? See if I can show her butt. Ooh, does somebody have a trimmed butt? Excellent. Yeah, I took a little too much off, but it was my first time like sanitizing or doing like sanitization trim, but at least she's kind of cleaned up now <laughs> and it'll be a lot healthier for her. So but yeah, she's all bathed and brushed and she has her feet trimmed. And there's those little paws. Look at those all nice and trimmed up. You look so pretty. Yee! Yeah. Okay, go play. All right, so I took all of my before and after pictures, so now I am going to go upstairs and I am going to submit my assignments and we will close out this video with a final grade. So let's go submit. Also really quick though, can we just take a moment, talk about the mess that is my bathroom now? <laughs> like look at all of this, oh my goodness. I love it. That was a lot of fun and it's now almost one o'clock. So we did some work. All right, I just uploaded all of the before and after pictures of Avril. So we are going to hit complete and wait for a grade. So it's a little bit later now. It's about quarter to six and I got the results back on what I did today and I failed. <laughs> Why did I fail? Because I didn't submit two dogs. I just did one dog and I got a zero percent. So, you know, I'm feeling quite discouraged because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You know, I've, I've reached out to several places and everywhere is just so busy right now. I haven't heard back from any of them yet. And yeah, but everything I did say in today's video, uh, I failed. <laughs> All because I didn't submit two dogs. So I asked if I could have my test reset until I can find a different dog. But until then... Stuck with a 0%, which really sucks because like, you know, if COVID wouldn't have happened, I would be on campus. I would, you know, probably not get 0% on assignments, but because I have to do this online learning and distance learning, you know, it's like, it is damn near impossible to find dogs. Like, I don't know what to do. Do I go up and down people's roads and knock on their doors and ask if I can take their dogs. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, dude. So yeah, I'm a little discouraged, but I don't want that to ruin the mood or the vibe of this video because regardless of failing and regardless of doing three hours of work just to get a zero percent, I still had fun and I guess I just put school on hold until I can find all these different breeds of dogs and submit them. So yeah, but that's pretty much the end of this video. I wish I could have ended this video with like, woohoo, I passed, like let's move on to the next assignment, but <sighs> that's not the case. So yeah, but regardless, I hope that you guys enjoyed. I have another long day tomorrow because I'm actually going to be grooming my co-worker's Yorkie, which I'm really excited about. He's such a sweetie. His name is Milo. He's so cute. So I'm going to groom him tomorrow and um, his hair is short enough. So that should count for my curly and wavy coated submission. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I just it, it seems like I can't pass one assignment because I don't have more than one dog with a certain co coat type. So, yeah. 
But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a huge thumbs up down below. Make sure you go down and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I do upload every three to four days here. If you guys want to see more videos like this one or, you know, all different other kinds of videos that I put on my channel, make sure you subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys. Bye.